Hi, my name is Nathan, and today we're going to do a comic book review of Star Wars Crimson Rain, issue number four, brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to this. We begin this issue on Varnak. The archivist tells the story of how Kira came across Ren with the Knights of Ren at a galactic bar not so far, far away. And I could definitely go for a bar right now. Kira tells him, I heard you're powerful, and he takes off his mask thinking it's a come on. She puts her hand to her face like, oh my, you're just so wrong. Moment that sets the tone on what she's here for and what she's not here for. Ren is oppressed enough to give her a fair listen to her proposal. Despite being dangerous to say this, Lady Kira tells Ren that she knows that he leads the Knights of Ren. When asked how does she know this, she points to the archivist. Archive is like, hey, yeah, it was me. Hope you don't mind. Kira goes into her pitch by telling Ren that she knows what they want and they want to live in a galaxy where they don't have to hide on the backwater planets, always on the run and living off of scraps, flying around on that ugly ship, stealing and killing to live. Ren tells her like, hey, you know what? They like that ship and they like stealing and killing too. She goes more into willing Ren in. Do you wonder when you'll wake up with the red lightsaber through your chest? Ren responds with not likely showing his red saber as well. Kind of like I wish a mofo would try me. Kira is unfazed by that and tells him that it's not entirely true. She could give him everything he wants, glory, safety from the Sith, and Ren can carve out a kingdom for his own. She doesn't care how he runs it. She needs force users and Ren is the best she can access. Ren is listening and waits for what the job is. Inside the Oubliette transport, the Knights of Ren are aboard to carry out the mission. That mission is to invade Fortress Vader and steal something from Darth Vader's castle. Let's just say they are not excited to do this job. The castle is hell, basically. Also, they stayed away from the Sith and the Sith has stayed away from them. They believe that is the understanding. Not to mention it's Darth freaking Vader's castle. Ren rebuttals that there is no understanding. The Emperor's been dealing with other problems like the Jedi, Night Sisters, and we're small fish in comparison. Palpatine will get to the Ren eventually and the choices are to keep running or strike first. Working with Kira gives them the best chance. She's got a plan, resources, and a full layout of the fortress, Vader, and a rundown of its security. The Knights of Ren mention the obvious. What about Vader? He's not going to be welcoming when we rob his house, right? Nothing to worry about, says Ren. One of Kira's Imperial contacts passed along info that Vader is busy investigating the murder of Palpatine's royal guards. See issue number two for that if you have it. With Vader not being there, Ren figures he won't know that it was the Knights of Ren who did the heist and they can take whatever they want. All Lady Kira wants is for them to steal a key. What does it open, they ask. Kira wouldn't say, but she knows where the lock is and Palpatine and Vader don't. Would they really not know? But then again, okay, all right, we're just gonna go on with the story. The plan is to bring the key to Lady Kira and the Knights of Ren can do and take what they want after that. When they arrive on Mustafar, Ren points out that there is an Imperial garrison on the far side, but it's filled with sensors. So they would put jammers on the bikes as to not be detected. Miranda asks Ren, what if he's wrong? Then a hell of a lot of stormtroopers are gonna die then. Mount up, let's do this. They ride. They arrive to an old entrance, whatever was there before Vader built his castle. One of them asks, why isn't it guarded? It's because the lava's the guard. They can get past it, but they need to work together with the force. They all use the force together after a tough combined effort on all their parts. It parts ways and there's the door. Once inside, Ren notices the shadow is strong. This explains why Vader didn't pick this spot by accident. He wanted this spot. Basra notices a helmet on the floor. It's Darth Momin, the creator of the castle. When the eyes of the helmet begin to glow, Basra wastes no time to shoot first and ask questions later. Ren tells Bowser it's a Sith castle. Dead things are gonna be around. Worry about the stuff that's still alive. On their way to the vault, the Knights of Ren walk through a large supply of Bacta. I love how one of them shows disrespect by spitting in the Vacta like, remember who did this. As they step inside, Vina welcomes them like, hey, I would advise you to leave, but it's too far for that. I have seen and marked you. My master will learn of your visit. So Ren's like, I'm not so sure about that. How are you gonna tell Vader about this? With your dead, blast off. They blast off and then Vina's like, you fools. My master is very protective of his possessions, which I am one. I am not in danger. He hits a switch and all these stormtroopers come in. And one of the Knights of Ren is like, so much they'll never know that we were here, huh, Ren? Ren's like, ah, blood is always sort of the plan. Light them up and they lightsaber battle through these dark lava stormtroopers. 
Ren notices Vader's vault, and he gets through that with his lightsaber. Hurry up! We're murdering these guys pretty well so far, but there's a lot of them. Ren gets in the vault, and he's like, oh my gosh, dude, this guy, I mean, give me a minute, but this is a big vault. I don't know how I'm gonna find the key that I'm looking for, but he uses a shadow to tell him where the key is as he listens for the key's scream. Boom! The key gets revealed. He grasps the keys, all of a sudden the shooting stops. Ren's like, is everyone dead out there? Why did you guys stop shooting? Not sure, but they all left. And Vader's like, their services are no longer required. And you are here uninvited. And he uses a force to crumble one of the Knights of Red. You will pay the price, says Vader. And Ren's like, run, get out of here. A lightsaber battle ensues between Ren and Vader. And this is epic. Vader uses his words to try to bring him down. You don't deserve a red lightsaber. Really? I took that from the one who held it before me. An old name, a name of power, Ren. And Darth Vader's like, you and your rabble are the Knights of Ren? Pathetic. You guys have fallen really far. How far you have fallen, but there's still yet further to fall. And he hits Ren's midsection with the lightsaber. And Ren's like, you know what? Fallen? That's a pretty good idea. So he goes back, falls down, uses the force to control his fall, does a superhero landing, <laughs> courtesy of Deadpool. That's what it is, a superhero landing. And he calls out Vader, you lose, Chuck. And they're like, boss, are you sure that's a good idea? I mean, what's he going to do, right? Well, he uses the force to get back that key. He's like, mine. And Red's like, what are y'all just doing here watching? Shoot him. So they shoot. And Vader has to use the force to deflect the bullets, to deflect the blast. And by doing so, he lets go of the key. And Ren uses the force to get the key back as a dip off. Miranda tells Ren, wherever we were on the Emperor's target list before, we just moved up a few spots. Ren's like, just ride. That's all we're gonna do is just ride. And that's where we end this issue. Another great issue, and I love the banter with the Knights of Ren, which is something we really should have seen and gotten more of. I hope these guys get a comic book issue of their own. But this is a gangster issue. This is a gangster story. I was intrigued, and I just love the heist aspect of it. And also, they're kind of ragtag misfits. You get that vibe with that, too. And I hope these guys and Knights of Ren get a comic book spinoff on the strength of this issue. I will definitely be in on that. Link in the description if you wish to add this comic book to your comic book collection. With that being said, Star Wars Crimson Rain. What you guys think of the comic book? Comment below. Let me know. Also, if you like the content we're throwing up, you know what to do. Don't be shy. Don't be stingy. Here at Rated Comics, we do awesome comic book reviews, comic book related content with the occasional comic book giveaway. Not to mention, don't forget to check us out and follow us on What's Not. We're going to start doing some live auctions and giveaways. More announcements to come on that. But with that being said, thanks again for watching. Until next time.